anticipated. Basically, my vest communicates with our drive robots here uh, to either slow down or stop so I can go out here and either pick up items that have fallen or reboot drives that um, have bombed out. They can pull like I think it's like three cars worth of weight, something like that. So yeah, it's definitely like when you're out there and you can like hear them moving around, but you can't see them. So it's kind of like, oh, where are they gonna come from? So yeah, it's, it's a little nerve wracking at first, but you you get used to it. More generally, what the tech vessel allows Amanda to do is problem solve. She can go out on the floor and problem solve it any way that she sees fit without having to, in advance, tell the system what, it is, what her intent is. Safety is our number one priority, and how you do that is you start it in the beginnings of your design. You think about the entire system, you think about how can I make sure that safety is never compromised, right? So we put it into our designs, we put it into our practices, we, we work with our associates, we have training with our associates, and if there's ever an incident, we take every incident extremely seriously, and we'll look into the root cause of that incident, and then work hard to, to make sure that that won't happen again. In motion right now. Yeah, she can pick something up on the floor. I think a lot of people, have assumed that robots will replace human workers, but obviously, as you can see, it's not the case. You know, we work side by side. They help us, and we help them, I guess, because I go and I, I fix them. 